For many people, a pet is considered to be part of their family. So you need to take into consideration what your pet is gonna cost and think about your budget when you consider what type of pet you're gonna get for your family. Some people might think that the only cost of getting a pet or the main cost of getting a pet is the adoption fee and maybe spay or neutering right when you get your animal. But there are monthly fees associated with a pet and I do have to say when I was figuring out Riley's budget here, he's kind of low maintenance, but other animals and other pets, they're all going to have different needs. So it's an awesome idea to figure out the needs before you buy your pet. <laughs> You need to think about emergency preparedness. So when storm season approaches, um, you need to be sure that you have something packed for your pet along with what you need for yourself and your family. Um, so you're gonna wanna include things like a water bowl. Uh, you want to have three days worth of food and then be sure that you rotate your food out about every two months so that it always stays fresh. Um, you're going to want to have a leash, maybe some snacks, their medication, so things like their heart guard, um, and then water. So you're going to want to have water for your pet along with water for yourselves. Um, so, and then make sure also uh, that any medications that they may be on, that you pack those. And then take into consideration, again, um, when you think about what kind of pet you want to have for your family is what cost is involved with the things that they need um, to maintain their health, wellness, and safety. Of course, as you probably know, there are many benefits to owning a pet. One of them that I love is exercise. This guy loves exercise probably more than me, and I love it. So one other thing that you're gonna wanna keep in mind is to also budget for sneakers because you're gonna wanna take your pet on walks so they can get exercise and you can get exercise so we can both live healthy lives. So Brenda, is having a pet worth it? Absolutely. So our pets have been such a great addition to our family. Our Shih Tzu is 10 years old now. The girls have great memories of their pet. And the cat, we just recently added Bandit within the last year, and he's been a great addition. Yes, I would definitely agree. Coming home to a pet is just the best, and they're always there for you. So before deciding to get a pet, really determine if this is going to be a long-term investment for you because it is a long-term investment for both of you. K-State Research and Extension does have a worksheet available that you can use. Um, it has everything from treats, their food, the grooming costs, safety. Um, so it kind of helps you as a guide of the different things you might need for your pet and then to try to figure what the costs were so you know how much to budget for your pet. So stop by your local K-State Research and Extension office and you can pick this up.